Welcome everyone. If Ask to Buy isn't working, you will need to access your child's iPhone, first of all. And on your child's iPhone, we need to do a test. So let's go into the App Store. And you want to tap on Get for an app you have not downloaded before. So I have not downloaded you to music. This is the app which isn't giving the Ask to Buy issue. And so for this video, we're just going to tap on get here. We now need to enter in a password for our child account. And once we've done this, let's tap on install. And so here is the deal. If on the child's iPhone, you get this ask permission prompt, then most likely the child's iPhone is working OK. And we can tap on ask and any moment now you can see a request has been sent. However, what most likely is going on is the child's iPhone, where this get is, is showing a spinning wheel and the spinning wheel is not proceeding. This is the issue I personally had on this child iPhone. And so what happens is the request to buy is never being sent because the app isn't actually proceeding. So the solution for this is we're going to open up the settings app and you want to find the homepage of settings. From here, you want to find where it says general and you're going to scroll to the bottom and you will see either reset or it's going to say transfer or reset iPhone. In this screen, we're going to tap on reset and you will need to reset all settings. So this will not factory reset the phone. You can have the photos. Most stuff should stay the same. What will be reset is your iPhone wallpaper. There'll be no passcode. So you will need to reset the passcode. We'll just set a new one even. There will still be the screen time passcode. The child's Apple ID will still stay signed in. Okay. But you will need to re-sign into your Wi-Fi and you may need to reconnect to a Bluetooth device. But the reset all settings should fix that spinning wheel. So when we go back to the App Store and we try and re-download the app, we should now see this. Your request was sent and is awaiting approval from a parent. And so you have two options. You can approve in person on this device if this is the only iPhone, you know, this is a child's iPhone, you don't have a parent iPhone, just tap on approve and follow the on screen instructions. But on the parent's iPhone, to actually see the request, if your parent iPhone does not have a home button, you're going to slide down from the far right hand side. And if your parent iPhone has a home button, you're going to slide up from the bottom. And you should see this night symbol, or do not disturb symbol. And if it's on, just tap it to turn it off. We see focus here. So we're going to long press and just make sure if you have a focus mode on, you just want to turn it off. So do not stop on. We're just going to turn that one off. And once you've done this, regardless of the iPhone, you're going to slide down from the middle. So let's slide down from the middle. And here we go we see the time sensitive request. You won't see this in the settings app. You have to slide down from the top to see it. And again, if this request is not showing up on the child's iPhone, you do need to reset all settings. So we tap on the request and we get either decline or get. So we're going to tap on get here. And it's going to say Apple ID verification. If you don't see that, you should see here, sign into purchase. So this is the password for your parent Apple ID. Okay, so not the child one. So you're going to enter this one in. And once we have entered this one in, I have the child iPhone here. So you can see, so I've tapped on OK. And just give it a couple of seconds on the child device. You can now see the download is going to start and very quickly to show if you don't have a parent phone, I'm going to enter in my password 
So if we want to approve on the vice, let's tap on proven person. And now you need to enter in the guardian Apple ID. So the parent Apple ID you use for family sharing. So I'm going to enter this one in now. And once this is entered, we need to go to the settings to do the two factor authentication. So if you have a, another device which has been signed in, you'll get the verification code here. But if you only have one iPhone, just tap on did not get verification code. Tap on this one and just tap on it text code here and this will text the code to your phone number. So if you have, let's say a Samsung, it would go to your Samsung, for example. And once we've entered in the two factor, we can now return to the app store and you can see here the application is going to download. So hopefully this is not too complex, but it seems like there is a bug in the operating system which doesn't send the asked by request. But if you get that bug, you just need to reset all settings on the child iPhone. If you've watched this far, you did the reset all settings. You may also need to do a software update as well. So software update, reset all settings, either or should solve the issue, uh, do both at the very least. And with that being said, this is a real issue I had, solved it with the steps I have shown. Uh, well, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Uh, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any other solutions that you use so you can help other parents out. Bye bye.